Hezbollah leader Sayyid Hassan Nasrallah meets with the Iranian parliament's foreign policy committee chief to discuss the latest developments in the region. Alaeddin Burujerdi, who is the Iranian chairman of the Committee for Foreign Policy and National Security, says he agrees with Foreign Minister Adnan Mansour that there is a U.S. plot against the region's security and stability. He is calling for unity to prevent what he claims is a possible disaster and expresses hope that U.S. President Barack Obama not rush in his decision on taking a military action strike against Syria. John McCain says that a vote by the Congress against President Obama's proposal for using military force in Syria would be catastrophic. McCain says that he and Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, who was also in a meeting with Obama, favored changes in the resolution that would broaden it to make it more than just a response to the use of chemical weapons by the government of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. If the Congress were to reject a resolution like this, after the President of the United States has already committed to action, the consequences would be catastrophic in that the credibility of this country with friends and enemy and adversaries alike would be, would be shredded. And there would be not only implications for this presidency, but for future presidencies as well. Here to discuss matters further is Dr. Hilal Khashan, the leading scholar of the Middle East and professor of political studies at the American University of Beirut. Welcome, Dr. Khashan. My pleasure. Obama says he does not require congressional authorization for a strike on Syria, but lawmakers' approval would give him a stronger mandate. So why the postponement? Uh, well, there, there are a number of factors for the postponement. One, uh, when back in 2003, former U.S. President uh, George Bush attacked Iraq, he failed to take the matter before the U.S. Congress. And back then, uh, Mr. Obama was a senator and he criticized uh, Mr. Uh, Bush for his failure to take uh, uh, the opinion of the Congress on the issue. Uh, there is another reason uh, for it. You know, uh, uh, Mr. Obama wants to give the matter of striking at Syria more thought to it and he prefers a diplomatic resolution to the crisis if he is able to get the uh, uh, Russian President uh, Vladimir Putin whom he will probably meet on September so 5 far or Russia, September 6. Thank you. So far Russia has not given him a green light and if they don't, do you think he will still go ahead with a military of strike? He, of course he will. He, he has committed himself uh, to, uh, to punishing uh, the Syrian regime for crossing the red line that he drew more than two years ago. So he's trying to give diplomacy a chance. He wants to see if Putin can get Mr. Uh, Assad to step down, even though I'm not inclined to assume that he will be able to sway Assad to step down. Therefore, a strike is, in my opinion, a natural conclusion to the decision that uh, Mr. Obama has become a captive to. Do you think he will get congressional approval? Of course he will, because, you know, failure to get congressional approval will become a major Catastrophe, as we Mr. can't. We, we, said. You he, don't expect something that's similar to what happened in the UK, where the House of Lords gave uh, no. No, uh, the, the UK is a different case because uh, back in 2003, uh, the British uh, accepted the American uh, intelligence report on Iraq without cr without the criticism. They took them at face value, and it was later demonstrated that there was no evidence against Iraq. Therefore, uh, the British Parliament today decided to, uh, to withdraw itself from this matter because uh, they have little faith in the U.S. Uh, administration and its hasty decisions. Russia announced its missile early warning system detected the launch of two missiles from the central part of the Mediterranean Sea fired towards the sea's eastern coastline. Now, Israel initially denied knowledge of the missile launch, but soon after said it had carried out one joint missile test with the U.S. So what is Israel doing? Is it preparing itself for the strike? 
Well, Israel has been diligent preparing itself for the likely of a strike on Syria. Uh, the Israelis made it very clear that will not tolerate any violation of their uh, sovereignty. And they, uh, they have been for some time preparing the domestic front uh, to cope with the possible consequences of uh, a U.S. strike uh, on Syria. What are the possible consequences of the U.S. strike on Syria? I mean, uh, regionally, you mean? Uh, I w can we start with regionally, and then can we bring it to Lebanon and what you think Hezbollah will do, which is everybody's question. What, will Hezbollah yeah. retaliate in sure. such, if such a strike takes place? You know, from the beginning, the Iranians said that uh, they trust the capability of the Syrian regime to withstand the consequences of the strike, and there is no need for them to act unless the strikes were substantial and uh, caused uh, severe uh, destruction to the Syrian military. Do you, think, that do you think they will be substantial? Uh, I think, uh, well, I, I, I don't know. I am inclined at this point to assume that if the Americans were to strike, the strike will be significant. Whether the strike is significant or not, I don't think uh, the Iranians will, uh, will uh, launch missiles at uh, the U.S. Uh, Navy ships or at Israel. You know, they will always say that the Syrians were able to contain the consequences of the strike. I don't see a scenario whereby the Iranians or Hezbollah would, uh, uh, would, uh, uh, would take action against the Israelis in the event of the U of a U.S. strike so because they know the consequences for them would be devastating. So you're saying Hezbollah and Iran will do nothing if the U.S. strikes? Uh, they will not do anything to harass Israel, but they might, they, they, Hezbollah might accelerate its military presence in Syria and try to deal with the likelihood of a rebel attack on greater, in greater Damascus. So uh, Hezbollah will respond on the ground uh, in, in, uh, by dealing with the rebels, but they will not attempt to take on the Israelis because they know what can happen if they provoke a confrontation with the Israelis. President Obama was talking about a minor strike, and you said it could be a significant strike. Can we define significant, and can we define significant? Well, significant, minor, substantial, their definition is, uh, is relative. What can be minor to somebody may, might be uh, right, substantial Right, but what did you, what did you mean by significant? When uh, you said I, by significant, I think they will Will, they will injure, they will hurt the Syrian army without crippling it. And right, because they spoke about how Obama said this very clearly. He said he, did, he was not really aiming for a regime change. So what, and you're saying that now he has to go to war, he has to strike, basically, yeah. because his credibility is on the line. But this, Obama is a P, Nobel Peace Laureate, and you're saying that he doesn't really want to, but now he kind of has to because he mentioned red line. So that's where his credibility comes into question. But if there's no regime change, yeah. if, 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 if he's talking about a minor strike, whether it's significant or minor, yeah. then what's the point of the strike in the first place? Uh, okay, well, uh, two years ago, Mr. Obama drew the line. He drew a red line about uh, not using chemical weapons. The regime in Damascus violated uh, uh, this warning and uh, actually perpetrated a number of chemical attacks. The recent one was uh, devastating. And eventually, uh, Obama's thick red line uh, uh, became too much to his critics to accept. Therefore, he found himself in a situation where he had to act. I think when a strike happens, whether it is substantial or less substantial, I think the aim of the strike would be to push uh, the, the, the course of events to Geneva too. Uh, I I completely agree. Which has not yet taken place, and we're hoping I think, that... I think, uh, I think chances are that as a result of the forthcoming strike, especially if the regime in Damascus claims that they were able to sustain the consequences of the strike, and if they claim that it was a victory because they survived it, then they will have a reason to go to Geneva too. Speaking of victory, in an article you wrote called Bashar al-Assad's Unsolvable Regime, yeah. You said it is highly unlikely that the Syrian conflict will lead to the emergence of victors and vanquished. Do you still believe that? Well, uh, right. The fall of Assad, should it happen when it happens, I think Assad is bound to exit the political scene in Syria. 
uh, the exit of Assad will not bring peace and stability to Syria. I think uh, uh, his opponents of today will eventually ending, end up clashing among themselves until a new mainstream emerges in Syria. The regime in Damascus saw to it that the conflict in Syria assumes a sectarian dimension. And, and so the victors would be the United States, basically. Uh, and Well, uh, it dep I... I I don't think so. The Americans don't want much headache in the region. For a number of years, the Americans have been trying to get out of the Middle East and focus on the shores but of it the does, Pacific. But it doesn't seem like it's. It doesn't seem like that's what's happening because you don't. I don't think they're going to be doing. You know, striking Syria if they didn't really want to get involved. They're trying to say they want to get minimally involved, especially after Iraq and Afghanistan. But they're basically dragging themselves into this, are they not? Uh, you know, the Americans are not interested in radical change in the region. Look at the course of events in the region, in the countries where there were uh, uprisings. Uh, everywhere uh, we had a situation of, uh, of infirmity. Uh, Tunisia remains unstable, uh, Egypt uh, as unstable as ever. In, uh, in Yemen, uh, the tribal system remains in place, and uh, not really much has happened uh, since, uh, since the major protest two years ago. And in Syria, I don't think that trend uh, will be any different. I don't think we are going to have a radical change in Damascus. I expect the change in Damascus to maintain the regime in place without its existing figures right now. Well, Dr. Hashan, yeah. you're going to have to come back and tell us more about it next time when we meet. And thank sure. you so much for being with us My today. My pleasure.